Hey guys, Mark here with Ashcraft Motorsports. Today we are going to go over the unboxing and installation of the Full Metal Fabworks Turbo S air compressor. This air compressor will come pre-mounted, pre-plumbed, and pre-wired. To complete the installation, you'll just need a few minor tools. A set of pliers, a 3 8 nut driver or socket, a pair of snips, and a T40 socket. Let's hold over and do the installation. Hi. So now that we're over here at the Razor, I went ahead and did some housekeeping items to speed up the video. Well, what I did was I unhooked the coolant line reservoir hose that usually runs up here. I rerouted it below and back onto the bottle. Remove the zip tie retainers that sit here and you will have to make sure everything is low. So what I had to do is I had to cut the zip ties for my voltage regulator wire loom, shove it over and I will re-zip tie it once the installation is complete. Once all your housekeeping is done, it's a matter of just removing the two T40s that are located here. And then you will have a T40 that is located under the dash cap. Depending on the type of uh, roll cage you have, this cap can either come off or you will have to maybe trim some of the plastic like I did. Now that everything is uh, taken apart, you go ahead and drop your pump in. Make sure everything's aligned. T40 in. Button the cap back on. Now I think we are ready to wire. As I mentioned, comes pre wired. So for me, I am going to put this directly to the, the straight battery connection on, on the bus bar. You, want to, you will want to make sure that it, it is under the factory um, wire connection so you can put the boot back on. And just like that, the installation of the Full Metal Fabworks Turbo S air compressor is complete. <laughs> 